we've just never done this before. This is just, oh, this is amazing. We're at uh, Geelong. We thought we'd just come down and have a look at the spirit of Tasmania, just the docking where we've got to come and dock. The uh, car park where we're in is just before you go on. It's really not all that big. As you can see, old mate here is hanging over a long way. So I wouldn't recommend getting here uh, stupid early. Okay, we're at the Geelong showgrounds. We are just camped up. Uh, before we head off to Tassie, we are here for two nights. Uh, it's all powered, so uh, $30 a night for a powered site. Um, you've got water right there too, there's toilets. We've got to go for a while up there for showers, but we just use the van. Um, but because we're not getting on the ferry until tomorrow night, we actually paid $15 extra tomorrow so we can stay here until we're ready to go on the ferry. So that's pretty handy. It's like 10 minutes to the ferry. You gotta book though, cause they have heaps of room, but only a few sites, not everywhere is a site. But the sites are massive. So if you've got a, a group of you, I reckon you could easily fit two vans and like a roof topper on one site. So yeah, check that out. Okay, so tomorrow night is when we head off onto the Spirit of Tasmania. Uh, can't wait to get to Tasmania, sounds amazing, but I usually get really seasick. Never been on a really big boat, so I'm not sure what that is. Hopefully it's like a big plane. I don't get air sick in a big plane, so fingers crossed. But this is what we have got to be prepared. My first one, some quells. So uh, I started taking those last night. I'll take another one tonight, tomorrow morning, and then as we get on the boat. That is my number one defense. Number two, when we did the Wilson's Prom, I took quells uh, two days beforehand. And, um, but then when we got on the boat, they had these Blackmore's um, natural ginger tablets. And they gave us, if you get seasick, they said to take three. So half an hour before we left, or just as we're about to leave on the boat, they gave these out and I had three of those because I get seasick and I did get seasick and it was a pretty bumpy ride. So, but it was only two hours and by the end of the two hours, I really did need something to eat or something in my belly. So we'll see. So I've also bought those, Blackmore's. And just for extra backup, I've got these that are like acro, um, pressure point sort of um, things that are meant to put on your wrists and meant to help you stop. So, line them all up. These are my defense against getting seasick. Fingers crossed, oh, I should put some spear bags in. Actually, I might tuck a couple of spear bags in just in case. Although we do have a cabin, so we do have our own toilet, but just in case, probably a good idea. I will let you know how we go. Well, okay, peoples, we are off to Tasmania. Uh, really feeling excited, a little bit nervous, um, probably because we're the last one of all our friends to leave. Our uh, good friend, traveling friends we met, they left this morning, so uh, hopefully they're on the boat having a great time. We have heard from others that have gone a few days ago that's been a bit rough, so take our uh, six seasick tablets. Uh, good excuse to give the old vehicle a bit of a wash. Love it when they look nice and shiny. I know the other guys uh, said the same with their vehicles. We stood in awe watching uh, our, each other's cars going, oh, it's so shiny. But yeah, look, they said they're not super particular as long as we don't have any uh, mud or clumps or anything on your cars. Um, just eating the last apples, mandarins, honey, because you can't take any of that on. Uh, firewood, damn it, I've got to get rid of the firewood, so it's going to go. But otherwise, uh, we're heading to Tassie tonight and at 9 30 i think it leaves so we'll go and fill up with some fuel my jerry cans all emptied because you can't take any uh unleaded or that on there otherwise they fill your jerry cans up with water and water and fuel they are not a good mix so it sounds a dumb idea to me so we just got to make sure they're super dry otherwise 
pack up time and ready to uh, roll out. We're just enjoying some sit time. What do you think? I hate waiting around. <laughs> I almost now wish we left this morning with everyone else, to tell you the truth. It's horrible. Yeah. Okay, we're sick of waiting around. We have packed everything up. We've got a few things. We're going to empty the dump point. We're going to go get fuel. And then we will get some tea and head towards Spirit of Tassie. Four o'clock. We're very early at the yeah, moment. No, we've got a few things to do, so that time will eat up. Time butterflies in the belly <laughs> I, I, I just hate it because I'm gonna be stuck on there I can't get off when I want to but I'm not going to be sick you've heard it here I am not going to be sick what no the boat ride I wish I was over there with everybody else I'm yes. last and I hate being last I feel like we're missing out I on know, the action you know, the, it's like the last one packed up at camp it, it's I know it's not a race but it's just Chris and Marsha and Callum and Meg are there. They've gone. <laughs> yeah, they... so we are headed to the ferry. We're about four hours early, but... What we're else? so damn excited. That's what why we're so we bloody early. I said to Kane just before, is he excited? And Sorry. are you? We used to do that as kids. Oh, it's just a kid thing when we're going to the beach because the beach was a once a year thing. I'm nervous, but I have no idea what to expect, what it's going to be like. I think on the way back, at least I'll have some expectations. Yeah, look, some people might think it's a bit sad, but this is the biggest boat or ship we've ever been on. This is, uh, this is, yep. this is part of our adventure. And it's overcoming our fears, because... Oh, what? There's no fears? Oh, this is exciting. I always say we're not doing any, well, we're still not doing any cruises or anything, but yeah, because... I get sick so uh, this is this is a bit of a fear for me so yes take it as it comes boat where's the boat obviously they got a leg coming from Tassie no it was sitting here for ages yes clean it yeah we don't want that dirty boat we don't sleep in dirty old bed sheets boat there's no boat oh, I'd be gutted if this was cancelled gutted can I just drive down anywhere uh, I'd probably go behind the vans and that is us parked up and ready I know look someone my age probably should be more mature but god this is exciting <laughs> That's so opposite. I would have quite happily flown over. Kane hates flying, so he would have he's more happy to do this. Okay, just a couple of facts for people who want to know. We've actually come about four hours before our boarding. Yes. And we were definitely not the first. No, no, we weren't the first. Pull up at the gate, you can't get in until two hours before your boarding, but you can go inside to the toilets the cafe's not, cafe not open so we just brought some tea with us but you can go inside to the toilets that is a number one thing lots of people want to know and you can go for a walk around outside because the car can't go anywhere yeah, so you're all parked in once you start lining up you're all parked in so your car's yeah. fine you could leave the keys in it well maybe oh, well, not maybe. No. okay and number two Katrina won the argument because I said that was the spirit of Tassie coming <laughs> and he told me no, it was, it was only a baby it looked, boat. It looked little, but as it gets closer, it's oh, rowing. So, it's rowing. Katrina is right. Again, <laughs> just wanted to let you all know. Finally, it's coming in. Tugboats got out there and the ship is coming in. Close, so it's a bloody rain. It's, it's raining on us. And there's the boat. <laughs> right there, but it's raining. But we gotta go. We gotta go to the car. Bloody rain. Damn you, rain. We escape the rain by racing back to the car. I know. Right as the boat's it. coming in, the rain beat the boat. We were hoping it'd be the other way, but the rain beat the boat, and here's the boat. Ah, oh, there it is. 
Like, <laughs> jump out and get the bike. Can't, can't do it the no, no. But there's the ship. Look at that. Won't lie, I am super excited. It's just taken its sweet damn time to get here. It needs to hurry it up a little bit. I tell you what, there's a few cars here. And we are off. Now, just remember, size does matter. They actually do measure how long you are. Good, thank you. Uh, 780. Here we go, Kane and Katrina. That's us. Yep. Once you go through security check, you can leave your vehicle. Yep. Um, and there's toilets and... Uh, yeah, we saw all the cafes and right, everything there. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay, step one done. Tick. Now off to uh, get quarantine inspected. You are not allowed to take any fresh fruit or vegetables. No honey, no wood. Um, no unleaded fuel in a jerry can and you have to make sure it's completely empty and dry. Um, you are allowed to take diesel in a jerry can so that is all okay. We also had a generator and we had unleaded in the generator and that was all okay. But just make sure you're prepared, you've got your keys ready because they make you open your caravan, have a look through it. But really if you're prepared you will have no problems at all. Thank you. Number one. Number one is so fun. <laughs> oh, geez, excited much? Yeah, I am. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> Look at them, they're going up. Okay, we're going to show you the whole process of boarding the Spirit of Tassie because we had watched a lot of videos before we left and nobody had the whole process of once you've gone through quarantine, what sort of happens. So this is at Geelong. We are heading up over the big bridge because we're going down into the deck five, I believe we were. Um, so yeah, this is what happens when you get onto the spirit of Tasmania. Just in case you're like us and you really wanted to know this. Make sure you take note of where your vehicle was parked. You actually park it. Take note because you don't want to be called out on a PA system and be told, hurry up and get to your car because you're holding everyone up getting off. Oh, mate, for a little Sorry, serving dinner. 
The pantry on deck seven is open throughout the crossing. Adults tea and coffee, sandwiches, pasta, pasta, salad. <laughs> We're on the boat, yes. and, and and we got starboard side. So yes. What does that mean? <laughs> We've got a window. We've got a window. I guess we did. I don't think anyone was on the other side. Okay, let's flip around. This is, is our room. No bunks. <laughs> no bunks. I was thinking you would get bunks. Oh. We have a window. We can see. We can see. <laughs> We're up really high. Yeah, we're not really in the middle, that's all. <laughs> bit, bit more movement over this side. As we show you around the spirit of Tassie, here are a few more tips that we wanted to share with you. Number one, book early. Everyone says it and it is true. We booked in May for a November sale and there was heaps of people that couldn't get on in the summertime, especially if you've got bigger cars and caravans. Um, it is easy though to jump online and change the dates so if you want to change the dates you can still do that obviously we're doing a night sale and we have a cabin um, but if i was doing a day sale i would definitely not spend the money on a cabin or recliners these chairs are super comfy and i would be happy to sit in them for the day sale However, if it is a rough trip, a tip we have been told is that once the boat sets sail, go see the concierge and they actually, if they have any cabins left, they will sell them to you for a cheaper price. So good tip, especially if it's rough and you want to just have your own private space. Another place to visit other than the bow of the ship because it was beautiful out there especially for the night sail is to go see the tourism hub. From the tourism hub you can actually purchase your national park pass, you can purchase fishing licenses and also there's sometimes some good deals for some tours and things like that around. Another thing that we weren't sure of is the food options especially for a 9.30 sale but the, um, the bar and the buffet were open. The buffet, I think only for an hour, but the bar which has pizzas and other things like that was open a bit longer. So you can definitely get food on there for the later sales. And in the morning they have breakfasts and things like that. And as you can see, there's heaps of space um, to eat there. And finally, there's heaps to do on the boat. So there's for big kids and little kids. There's this gaming room, there's movies. There is lots of entertainment. In case anyone wants to slap on the pennies. So I slept I like can't a baby. Sleep. Yes, but really, is it hard for you to sleep like a baby? Well, some people might say a baby doesn't sleep that well. <laughs> I slept very well, thank you. I was okay. Um, but all my things definitely helped. I only felt a bit yucky in the belly a few times and I just had another tablet and I was good. Went off to sleep. 
that's our morning view. Well, we are about to hit Tasmania. Great night's sleep. Ocean was quite good, calm. Well, I slept really well anyway. And uh, we can see Tassie. We've been given the call, so it's about half past six, I suppose. Sun's up, looks lovely. And this is what we've got. You can see land, you can see all the beautiful mountains to explore back in the background too, and coastline, and a nice sunny day. Oh, look at this, Tasmania. I can see you. I can almost feel you. Look, if you're as excited as us about our Tasmania adventure, make sure you like, subscribe, and are following us along because we have three months exploring this magical place and we want to share it all with you guys. So hit that subscribe button. Go on, do it. I, I can't say I lady. liked it. Yeah. I was. I think a plane would be much quicker and faster and better. Um, but I think I would like to do the night one again. To tell you the truth, I didn't like waiting around for it. But at least you sleep, and it makes time go faster. Like, uh, it, it would be a long trip in it, the day. It was a pretty routine on where they did go through a fair bit of stuff, asked me a lot of questions. There is quarantine off but it's just done at a um, random selection of cars. Which obviously they need, because the people beside us were eating <laughs> yeah, a were, banana. They were chowing down on bananas, and they're going, I don't know how you got all that through. Uh, yeah. Ridiculous. That's right, but no, so everybody just wants to hang on to their fruit. It's important to hang on to their fruit. So we're super excited to um, yeah, go check out Tassie never been here before and see what it has to offer. Alright, so ship ride was great. Some new for us, which was tick, bang, tickety boo. Yes. Done. Now Tassie. And if anybody's at Tassie and wants to meet up, well, uh, it's not a big island, so we can definitely all try and catch up. Um, okay, by the time this comes out, we'll be way gone from Tassie. Ah, <laughs> so if anybody wants to meet up in Tassie, you're we'll going to have gone. to see us without seeing this. Yeah, watch the socials, that's up to date. <laughs> Most looking forward to about Tassie Cape. Oh, look, seeing some of the old penal colonies, checking out the island, I'm told it's amazing. Some of the waterways, the lakes, the forests. Okay, pick one. Mountains. Pick one. Yeah, it's called Tasmania. Oh, God. I'm interested in checking out all the different food. Caden's parents told us that, you know, there was berries everywhere and heaps of fresh food. So just seeing what their, nat their produce is like over here. Any hikes, Trina? Any long overnighters? Caden, I can't still walk. My shoes are hurting my feet still because of your friggin' hike. His toenails are going to come off. I well, i got to finish the Southern Cross and that's at the bottom of this island. Hike is from downstairs, yeah, a million of yeah, them. Just, just but yes, that'll be a highlight. We'll finish off the Southern Cross. Ah, seeing the boys down here, having a bit of a holiday with them. Be nice. Yeah. Somewhere new, they haven't been here before either. So yeah, can't wait to look at you, Tazzy. Our turn, yes. I'm so damn excited. I'm like a bloody new dog. Just jumping around. I want to see you. Okay, let's just watch where we come to park. Did 
disturbing this morning. Oh. They're probably sleeping there. Yeah. It's eight o'clock. When did they ring? No, they didn't. I'm waking him up. Oh no. I, did, I thought you missed a call from no, Well, I'm going to wake up Callum. No, that's, I didn't <laughs> realise that, not, Crane. That's just not say, fair. It is fair. Well, well, Outback nomads are awake because they've replied to my story. Yes. Oh, good morning. What's going on, fellas? Oh, just laying on the rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just got off the boat. Did you? We did. It was a beautiful trip over. Super good sleep too. Uh, lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello buddy. I thought I'd just give you a morning wake up call so you know you can get up and enjoy the day. Oh, we've been up. We just can't be bothered to get out of bed yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like...